All right. We got the wife Sidu in here. Doesn't want to start. When trying to start, we can just get a click. Battery's good. We tried boosting it in the lake as well. Um, everything seems fine on it. Nothing seized or anything. It was funny. We were at the dock and uh, we just we just gone out bombing around in the lake at the dock. Joel was riding it, and uh, I pull into the dock. I'm getting ready to to pull the pull my do out, and he's. Uh, uh, you might want to wait on that. You, you, you might need to come get me here. That was pretty funny. And uh, I was like, what's going on? And then we spent like forever trying to figure it out out there. But turns out starter's bad. Um, brushes are seized on the starter. I already had it out once to make sure that. Ordered the parts up. Parts came in the mail. Time to fix it. Um, the brushes is where they slide. You'll see in a minute. But they're seized right up. So what we got to do is we got to get in here. So they're 13 mil. Get a long reach, 13 mil. I was way in there to get it out. Super hard to get to, to be honest. I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull these hoses off first. Did that last time, pulled the hoses off. There's just a couple of hoses in the way. It's the water output, I believe, from the manifold. And then the water input on the exhaust manifold. It hooks up twice. On mine, they're just ring gear clamps. You don't really have to take them off, I don't think. I just know on this one, it gives you about 20 miles extra room to get your hand in there when that hose is out of the way. This is the uh, Sea-Doo GTS 1993. It's got the uh, 587 engine in it, the road tax or whatever they call these by Bombardier. So yours is the same, so you just see these hoses I'm pulling out here, just strictly to get them out of the way. That one there, and the little line. I think these have been replaced, I was told they've been replaced. So yours might be a different color. Now maybe we can get in here with these long reach There's only two bolts in this one on the top and then one just down below uh, a little closer to the block so they're, they're almost a little bit diagonal so they're a little tricky to find the top one's not so hard because you can get your other hand in there to find it bottom one on the other hand top one also on my engine has the um, the ground lead on it so don't forget to put that back on you gotta get the skills to get it out like that. Otherwise you go bloop down the bottom of the boot. Have to get those two bolts out. You just gotta manhandle the starter a little bit. Uh, nope. Yep. There is a back plate on it. Mine has no bolts in the back plate. All right, we're back at it. Got it out. <laughs> Blood, sweat, tears. We got her out. So. Now the starter can just freely come out, kind of. It's still held in there by the power lead, but now it's out enough where we can get to that power lead relatively easily. You could do the power lead blind in there if you really wanted, but that's how I did the first time, but it was a bad idea. It's a 10 mil, I believe. 10 mil. she be cutting that's where that plate was so essentially it's in there like this exactly like that slight bit of an angle and everything this one's a little closer to the engine block than this one so you can see we had had the starter out already and I cleaned the brushes and then put it back together apparently I should have replaced them all right, so this is a rebuild kit 
that I ordered on the old eBay. But it's a full rebuild kit. I'm not doing a full rebuild. Don't see any sense in it. The starter seems to be pretty new. As you can see, very good condition, very little corrosion, even on the electrical leads, which are normally quite corroded. Looks great. But this thing comes with every O-ring, every bearing, bushing. And in this bag, we have what I actually wanted during the order. Apparently, you can't buy this stuff on its own. And this is the full brush holder and, uh, and replacement brushes. So the brushes are permanently affixed to the brush holder and the positive lead. Um, so you have to buy it as a kit, per se. Not a big deal because my brush holders are corroded and the brushes are fairly worn. Not worn enough to necessitate replacement, but they're getting replaced anyways. Um, obviously brush holder and full brush assembly, which is all I'm concerned about replacing because everything else is good in this. <laughs> Ta -da! So there's the brushes and to be brunt, they're not as sticky as they were. Oh, well, you can hear all oh, the brushes broke even like just listen oh that one's a little smoother in comparison to the brand new ones yeah definitely 40 bucks by the way All right, feel ambitious. Go ahead and test it on the uh, bench battery if you'd like, but uh, I will let you know that I tested mine before I put it back in. Remember I said I already had it, put mine back in. And when I tested it on a bench, everything spun fine, which is a big reason as to why I put it back in. So um, you have to put some load on it. Maybe just like push it up against a piece of wood or something. Uh, the teeth of the uh, Bendix drive, but um, all right, we're ready for reassembly. All right, after you get everything screwed back in there, give her old test, should be good as new. Certainly is. Another one done. <laughs>